Hey everyone, this is Sue Kaufman of Sue Kaufman Fitness. Are you ready for step number two of 10 steps to become healthier in 10 weeks? This is step number two and I hope you're ready to move on to step number two and it is start walking. Walking is one of the simplest forms of exercise. It's one of the cheapest forms of exercise and it's it's a great way to get started and this uh, program is designed for people who have not you know you you want to start from the ground level so if you're a little farther along than that that's okay you can kind of adjust these these tips and steps um, for you so why should you start walking here's some facts it's one of the like I said it's one of the easiest things to get started and there are so many benefits. Once I read this list, you'll be thinking, why, why am I not doing this? Consider these benefits. It sharpens your mind. It's studies have proved that it can um, help with Alzheimer's and short-term memory and all those kinds of things. So it keeps your mind sharper. It can reverse the effects of aging. So walking helps take care of some of the cells that you have in your body that show aging and when you start to walk and you're walking um, you're you're walking consistently it will help reverse those it strengthens your bones so you don't end up with osteoporosis or pre osteoporosis and uh, osteoporosis is brittle bones so you walk you have stronger bones and that is a great thing it uh, boosts your mood so you go out you know you've had a stressful day at work uh, maybe stressful day with the kids and you go out and get a walk in and you are going to feel better so it improves your mood and that's better for you and for everybody around you right it reduces your stress levels great it enhances your circulation so it helps the blood get moving and pumping in your body it lowers the chance for diseases like heart disease heart attack and stroke it lowers your blood pressure and who doesn't want that because that prevents things like heart attack and stroke. It improves your balance, especially as we age, we need to be careful that we don't lose our balance and coordination. It reduces your risk of falling. So if you have a better balance, you're not gonna fall down as much. And it improves your memory. It improves what? Oh, your memory, because I've been walking, you see. It lessens arthritis, lessens the pain of arthritis and fibromyalgia. So it's not going to take it away, but it will take some of that pain away, which is nice. Improves your blood glucose levels. So if you are pre-diabetic or diabetic, it's going to help with those blood glucose spikes and crashes. And even if you're not, it still helps with those kinds of things. It improves your immunity levels. So it will help you stay healthy and you won't get those colds and flus and things that go around so much as much and it helps you sleep better because if you're expending more energy when you get to the end of the day and you're lowering your stress level you're gonna sleep a lot better hopefully like a baby or maybe better than a baby right that would be really good so those are all the those are all the um, benefits of walking and like I said after you hear that list I hope you're thinking why am I not doing this and you're ready to get started so here's some guidelines this is how I I recommend you start so if you've not been walking get yourself started by walking for 10 minutes 10 minutes is not a lot you can get yourself to do that just get up out of your chair and walk for 10 minutes you can walk inside you can walk outside you can walk around your house for 10 minutes right you can do that I think you can so 10 minutes all I'm asking 10 minutes you can talk yourself into that and then increase the amount of time you're walking each day by one minute just one so if you're adding just one minute each day that's not much right just one minute now here's a suggestion to do that when you start walking take your phone along and use a timer on your phone 
Um, if you have a smartphone, there's a timer built in. I'm sure there's a timer built into your Android phone too. You can also find timers that um, are very helpful in exercise. For example, I downloaded one and I'd show it to you on my phone, but I'm recording this on my phone so I can't. But uh, I downloaded one called Bit Timer, and it's a very good fitness timer. But if you set it for five minutes, or for five minutes, that's all you need to set it for five minutes. Walk until the alarm goes off, and then turn around and walk home. So now you have your 10 minutes. Then each day, add 30 seconds to your timer. So five minutes and 30 seconds, turn around and walk home, and you've walked 11 minutes. And you just continue to do that until you get to 30 to 60 minutes. Now, Surgeon General uh, recommends that adults exercise moderately for an hour, 60 minutes. Um, but, you know, busy lives, sometimes it's really hard to get 60 minutes of exercise in. So at least shoot for 30 minutes. So you keep walking, start with 10 minutes. That's all you need to do, 10 minutes. And then increase it by a minute each day until you're up to 30 to 60 minutes. There's the guidelines. Now, here's some tips on how to make this work. Walk at a brisk pace, but keep it at a pace that you're comfortable with. So if you're just getting started, your brisk pace may not look brisk compared to other people, but that's okay. You just walk at the pace where you feel comfortable so that you're not going to get injured or become breathless in those 10 minutes. And then you can always increase your pace as you go. And I wouldn't really start increasing your pace until you've increased to your at least 30 minutes. So start at a, at a pace that makes sense for you. Get yourself a good pair of comfortable shoes. So we're talking good sneakers that are very well cushioned and can can take the um, stress of walking. Don't, don't go to the discount store like the Walmart and just pick up any old pair of sneakers. You're going to need a good pair. But other than that and comfortable clothing, that's all you need to be able to walk. So it makes it a very economical way to exercise. Dress for the weather and dress for comfort. Right? So just get yourself some comfortable clothes, a pair of shorts or pants that are comfortable to move in, and a shirt, jacket, dress for the weather if it's cold. That's all you need to do. Stay hydrated. Make sure you drink some water before you exercise and after and even take some, especially if it's a hot day, take some water along with you. Um, and we talked about hydration in, in step one. So make sure you're staying hydrated and make sure you're warming up and cooling down. So warm up, you're just walking at a slower pace um, than you would normally walk for your exercise walking time. And then cooling down, doing the same thing, slowing down. Warming up at a slower pace gets your blood moving to your muscles and gets your body ready to exercise. Cooling down allows your body to slow down before you stop. It helps keep your muscles from becoming sore. And then, of course, when you're all done, make sure you do some stretching so you don't end up with sore muscles. Because what's one of the number one reasons people quit exercising? They're sore. They're sore and they feel horrible and they're like, nah, I quit. So make sure you get yourself warmed up, cooled down, and stretched out. And my last tip, and this is a really important one because a lot of people really help themselves when they find a buddy to exercise with. So find a friend or a relative that maybe has been talking about getting healthy too and ask them to be your exercise buddy, your walking partner, your accountability partner. Because if you get together and say, okay, we're gonna walk after work, such and such a time, or before we go to work, or during the day, whatever, you set a time, you're less likely to bag out on it if you know somebody else is counting on you. It's called accountability. So get yourself a buddy. You'll be more likely to stick with it. So there you go. Step number two. So now we're drinking uh, more water, and the goal is at least 64 ounces a day. And now we're adding for the next seven days, we're adding walking, starting with 10 minutes and adding a minute a day till you're up to at least 30 minutes, somewhere between 30 to 60 minutes is ideal. So good luck with step two. Keep going and 
make sure you keep track of how you're feeling because I'm sure by now you're starting to see some results and feel some results inside you. So that's step two and we'll, we'll be back again in seven days to give you step three. Stay healthy everybody.